all right welcome back to the channel guys i got a kilo 141 class letter for you guys and as you can see it's level 69 right now i definitely maxed it out just so i could play around with all the different attachments on it and figure out what i like best on it and i did find a good class setup that involves being stealthy as well as being as mobile as possible and quick because we all know how clunky this game actually feels so but when you put on certain attachments on it it definitely helps you move a lot faster and aim in a lot faster which is going to help you win those gunfights now it was a little bit tricky trying to find a different set of combinations that worked well with each other because you know how sometimes you put on attachments on it and one is a pro here and but then it negates something else on the attachments so it was really hard trying to find that balance but i finally figured it out and i'm happy to share it with you guys this is pretty much a suppressor stealthy type of class setup slash flanking and aggressive so this is for the aggressive flanker type of player and staying stealthy at all times which i really really like about this class setup all right so uh let's go over the attachments real quick so for the muzzle i'm rocking the monolithic suppressor now this one is really nice because it gives you that sound suppression sound suppression is going to help you remain undetected from the enemy compass and as well as during uavs now there was a glitch before where when the enemy called in a uav you would still show up on the enemy radar and the compass even if you had a suppressor on it when you're firing your weapon in every call of duty that's never ever been a thing and they finally fixed that so with this it really does help you stay as stealthy and undetected as possible which i absolutely like especially for a player like me my play style is mostly like a flanker type of sneaky type of play style so i really really enjoy this a lot and it also does increase your damage range so that's also really nice you can play at a distance and still drop enemies really quickly with this attachment right here now the two cons are your aim down side speed and aim walking steadiness i wouldn't really worry too much about these cons because the class setup that i'm about to show you does actually counteract the cons here and it's actually not that big of a deal nothing to worry about so all right so for barrel there's nothing here and then for laser i've got an attack laser it increases your aim down side speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness so now this is what exactly i was talking about how these pros definitely outweigh the cons and counteract whatever was going on right here on the monolithic suppressor aim down side speed and aim walking steadiness is affected but if we go right here pretty much it says right there aim down side speed and aim walking steadiness is a pro so it's as if it never happened all right so i do get the suppression i get the damage range with no penalty at all because of this attachment right here it gives you the best bang for your buck especially compared to these two attachments hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed and hip fire accuracy you know it's not that great i tried all of these put together and you know it didn't really give me the results that i wanted and it wasn't as enjoyable to use like i said before speed is everything and being able to aim down your sights really quickly and have that mobility is going to be key in winning those gunfights i'm not rocking any optic at all this is just by personal preference you could if you want to but that would mean you have to sacrifice one of these attachments right here just to put on an optic and i feel like it's absolutely not necessary i actually do enjoy the iron sights on it so that's why i don't have a, a optic on it all right so for stock i'm rocking the no stock attachment right here so this one is the best one in my opinion out of all of these and the reason why is because it increases your movement speed furthering our mobility and then it also increases the aim down side speed furthermore speed is everything and having that on your side it will definitely help you win those gunfights a lot more versus the person who doesn't have these pros on their weapons the con is aiming stability and recoil control but with the way that you're going to be using this weapon which is pretty much from medium to short range long range it does beam at long range as well but i would mostly advise that you use it on smaller to medium sized maps such as gun runner hackney yard even shoot house or even ramaza as well you know those are really good maps to consider using this gun on and it will give you the best results and that recoil control isn't even really gonna feel like it is even a factor at all especially with the way you play and use your weapons it's all about how you use the weapons at the end of the day all right now these other attachments uh, they were okay i used all of them but I found the most success with the no stock attachment right here. Uh, this one was one that I was about to choose because of the aim walking movement speed, mainly because it helps you strafe left and right a lot quicker. But to be honest, with this class setup, it didn't really feel as effective as it did on my previous M4 class setup. The mobility was just not as great as the M4 and this aim walking movement speed was just not worth putting on. I'd rather have this right here, the aim down sight speed and the movement speed as a pro 
on the no stock attachment right here all right so for perk this one is definitely going to be a personal preference for me i like being able to see where the enemies are across the map especially with how hard it is to see enemies in the first place putting this on will help expose their location and it will help you decide which way you want to go do you want to go left do you want to go right should you even push that way because there's an enemy in that line of sight so it definitely helps you put some perspective in how you would approach the map as far as you know planning your advancement around the map so that's why i like having recon it gives you a heads up and lets you know what you should do next all right so that's just a personal preference you can use whatever perk you want but that's just personally what i want to use all right so for our last and final attachment it is the rear stippled grip tape now this one is the best attachment for almost any weapon in the game it gives you that sprint to fire speed pro right there and also the aim down side speed so with all of these attachments put together you are definitely going to notice that you're able to aim down sights significantly faster and that is going to be key in winning those gunfights so like i said stippled grip tape is going to increase your aim down side speed and your sprint to fire speed and it is what you should be using on this gun i feel like without this attachment you're pretty much most likely probably going to lose a lot of gunfights so that sprint to fire speed pro right there is super super important and the aiming stability con i wouldn't worry about it again like i said this gun is actually pretty pretty good at range and as far as uh, recoil goes well i wouldn't really worry about that con too much all right so that's about it as far as the attachments go on the kilo then moving on to secondary personally using the 1911 i uh, pretty much just picked a random one honestly it's just personal preference you can use whatever you want so if you have a personal preference whether you want to use a launcher or a melee it's all the way up to you but for me personally i mainly use the kilo and i very ever rarely use my secondary weapon unless it's absolutely necessary okay so then for perk uh for perk one i'm using scavenger i enjoy replenishing my ammo as much as possible when i'm going around the map i'm killing enemies i need to stay as equipped with ammo as much as possible and just running over those dead bodies is going to help me accomplish that now you could use a different perk if this is not your play style and you would rather use the ammunitions field upgrade so you don't need to run scavenger you can put on eod eod is a very good choice especially in this call of duty a lot of people are using explosives we're talking about claymores we're talking about c4s you know those are just a few things that a lot of people die by the most common putting on eod would be a good choice for you if you don't want to use scavenger all right so for perk two no question you got to run ghost ghost is a must have perk to use because a lot of people are going to be running that uav and everyone else is running ghost as well so if you're the only one not running ghost you're pretty much already dead because the, it, it's only a matter of time until the enemy locates you and kills you because you're just going to be exposed on their compass and on their radar at the same time so that's not going to be a good thing and you must run ghost and plus the other perks in this you know they're okay uh, but not as viable as ghost is because of how frequent the enemies like to call in uavs all right so for perk three i'm personally using tracker it literally shows the enemy footsteps and that's why i like this a lot especially it goes well with my play style which is flanking so uh, more often than not i'm able to see a lot of footprints and all i gotta do is just follow it and it leads me directly to the enemy and that's a straight up easy kill right there it's crazy how unbelievable Unbelievably overpowered that this perk is and i'm really hoping that they don't nerf this at all because it really helps you locate the enemy and intel is everything in this game and just being able to literally see footsteps in front of you is helping is going to help you in the long run to stay alive a lot longer and just locate where the enemy is now if you don't want to use tracker a second perk I would use is Battle Harden. Well, this is depending on what map you're playing on. If you're playing on Shoot House, I would definitely recommend using Battle Harden because of how much the enemy just spams those flashes and stuns. It's just super annoying and it slows you down. But putting on Battle Harden is definitely going to be beneficial. If you want to run a Dead Sounds field upgrade or a munitions box or whatever field upgrade you want, tune up is definitely advised and it actually will make a difference in helping earn your field upgrades that much faster so tune up is another secondary but if i personally use tune up it's because i'm going to be using the dead silence field upgrade all right but mostly i use tracker just so i can track down enemies a lot quicker all right so this is completely optional but in my personal experience i felt that running specialist helps me stay alive a lot longer when you run specialist it gives you all the perks in the game 
after a certain amount of kills i believe it might be seven kills in a row you do unlock all the person in the game so that will definitely protect you against a lot of really dumb stuff in the game and it will give you so much advantage you're going to be able to restock your equipment etc etc that's why i highly highly recommend using specials if you haven't yet it really gives you a lot of perks to work with and helps you stay alive a lot longer if you don't want to use that it's fine it's up to you you can just use kill streaks it's all personal preference at the end of the day all right so for lethal i'm personally running around with a c4 i love just you know tossing c4s at people who are trying to capture an objective or just through windows where i know people are camping or just someone in the corner who's been sitting there all game uh, throwing a c4 and just being able to detonate it mid-air is just really really satisfying and it's enjoyable and fun to use uh, so that's just what i personally use but you can never go wrong with any of these you know it's just basically how you use it is what makes it a very viable choice as a lethal for example if you're going to use a claymore you know put it in somewhere where it's going to watch your back even if it doesn't kill the enemy at least you are notified with that hit marker of where the enemy is at and where to direct your attention all right so for tactical i'm using the stim right here this one is very crucial especially for my play style if you're playing a little bit more aggressive you're more than likely going to get hurt a lot and in this game you do die very quickly so let's say you're in a gunfight you do hurt the guy as well you both are just taking cover trying to recover but if you put on stim shot you are going to be able to get back into that gunfight a lot quicker you have more confidence versus the guy who doesn't and boom you're going to be able to take him out a lot easier or even if you're hiding from multiple enemies you put on stim shot it gives you a lot more confidence to flee that gunfight because you're not going to get one shot it gives you a chance at survival basically and that's why i like stim shot uh, but again it's all personal preference it's up to you what you want to use for your tactical uh, but that's just me for this type of play style all right well that about wraps it up for today's video let me know down below in the comments what are you specifically using on your kilo class setup for me i love using the suppressor class setup right here i'm a suppressor guy i love staying stealthy and undetected and if you did find this video helpful don't forget to drop a like on it show some support and subscribe if you're new around here i will be coming out with a lot more class setups i just want to level them up a little bit more just so i can give you guys some thorough attachments that actually do make a difference in your game i'm not just gonna you know slap on this and that and just say it and call it a best class setup you know that's just not my style so i'll see you guys in the next video peace